Alrighty, we're going to be installing our LED flat panel light fixture. It's maintenance free, it's energy efficient. We're hooking it up for a little podcast uh, studio and also a YouTube studio. Here in the country I was born in, we use 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps. Black is live, the white is neutral, the bare of the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors. However, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. So I'll show you how to install this. We'll be coming from a junction box that's up above the ceiling. We will be going to a uh, light fixture from the junction box, then from the junction box down to a switch. The ceiling is a drop ceiling and the wall is uh, an enclosed wall. So uh, I'll show you how to install this. And first we'll put our tail wire on our light fixture and we'll put it up on our ceiling. Then we'll cut our hole in the wall and we'll put our old work box in after we drill the hole and drop the wire down. So this is our uh, fixture here. We're going to use our piece of 12 tube. We're going to open up our opening here. We're going to put our Romex connector. We'll put it in on this side here. So you can see how I put it in. I just drew this little tabby off here. Now this has a uh, A little plug on it but we're not going to use that plug so we're going to cut this off and these two wires are to go down the 14 to, to go to a dimmer switch but we're not going to use that option so we're going to fold this back down here and put it in our box so we'll put our Romex connector on here like this put our ring in here jacket off here and what a blessing I don't know where my uh, knife is so you know what I'm not going to frustrate I'm just going to do it this way it's always a blessing not to know where stuff is okay so we'll get our uh, debris out of here Ends here. Our white is the neutral, our black is the live. Okay, we'll bring our, sorry, bring our wires into our connector here. Okay, so we have our black and our white, and we'll strip our wires here the same length as our wires coming in. Okay, so we'll start with our Ground wire first, we'll get our 
copper even at the top here. And I'll put our wire nut on here like this. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. We'll push it down in our box. We'll get our black, get our uh, copper even at the bottom, our insulation, insulation even here, and our copper even here. Put our wire nut on. Bolt down to our box. And we'll take our white wire. We'll do the same here. We'll get our uh, insulation even at the bottom and our copper even at the top like that there. Take our wire nut. Make sure it grabs everything and our insulation is going up into the bottom of the wire nut. Okay, we'll fold it down and we'll get it back into a little box down on here. Push it down in. Now see these little tabbies on here? When I put this up, I'll bend these up and reach these four pieces over the uh, cross pieces that hold it up into the ceiling. So next we're gonna go up on the ladder and we'll hang this light. I curl the wire on top so it's easy to put it up in the ceiling. This is like holding a tray of food, like a waiter at a restaurant. Space here. And there's that. You know, I'm having that little tabby over here I was telling you about. Drop it over. Okay, so we're going to drop our wire down to go to our switch. So the 2x4 here, and we have to go above the uh, drop ceiling up here. Okay, so I'll do our hole here. Here. 
so this is an old work box we're going to be using. It has tabs here to hold it in the wall and we trace it. And the little wings here open up when you uh, tighten the screws. So set it where we want it. We're going to put it right here. Make our line here. Make our line here. Go down the sides like this. Now we'll take our pencil and we'll trace here. And here. Now we'll get our saw out here and we'll cut these holes. Okay, so we'll make a little hole in this corner here with our Phillips screwdriver. Make another hole here. And over here. Another one down here. And we'll take our saber saw. This is our Sears Craftsman uh, saber saw here, and we'll cut a Okay, we'll drop the wire down to our box. Okay, so we got our wire down into our hole here. Now we'll pull the slack up that we're not going to be using, so we'll put our wire into our box here like this. back up and we'll pull it back up because we're not going to be using it. And we'll push these little tabbies back and we'll set our box in the hole like this. Now we'll tighten our screws up and we'll close those. We'll okay, there goes the bottom one. See how it tightens up in there like that? I hope this top one. Now the top one's going to give me problems. You know what? It may not even go. So I'll get a bigger screwdriver. And if it still doesn't go, 
I'll just use a hold. That's just tearing up the head of the screw. And you know what, if you can't do something, if it's not meant to be, you know what, it's not meant to be. And that is jammed up, but you don't get frustrated. You just fight with it, hey, it's gonna go. There it goes. Here we go, we got it. Our box is nice and tight, and now we can hook our light switch up. Okay, so I'll just score lightly. I'll just score lightly. Now down here at the end, I'll go deeper. And I'll get my wires out. Okay, so uh, Get our wire separated here. We'll cut our debris off. And now we'll hook our light switch up. Now this is where the white wire is live. The reason the white wire is live here is because we want the black wire to be live where it's going to the light. And then this is our ground wire. Okay, so we'll close our, make our loop, the direction our screw turns, put our wire around the green screw, we'll close our loop, the direction the, the screw turns, we're going to use our Robertson screwdriver here, and we'll tighten the screw up. Our wire's around the screw head there, but I don't like how that came out, so I'm going to Loosen this up, and I'm going to bring it back over this way. Now it won't go down. And I'll tighten it up. That's how we want it, like that there. And we'll put our black and our black on the top. Now it doesn't matter which screw you put the black and white on because it's just a single pole switch. Is tight. We'll bring it around so that's not twisted on the black wire. Now I'll take our white wire and put it on the switch. Okay, and there's our white wire on the screws. That's how we want to put the wires around the screws. Now we've got to find some screws to screw the switch into the box with. Okay, so now we can fold our wires into our box. We'll go up with our white and down with our black. Keep it going this way, and I'll fold our ground wire go up on the side of the switch where there's no screws. Like this. 
and drift away from everything. And then we'll screw our switch into the box. Here in the country I was born and up is on, down is off. If you put the switch in upside down, it will say no. That's how you'll know that it's upside down. Make sure it's nice and tight here on the box. Pushed against anything or forced anywhere. Okay, now we'll bring our wire up above the ceiling. something up there, but you know what? You don't get upset. You don't frustrate. Just make it push it up the road. So this is our wire to the switch. I'll reach over here and grab our wire to the light. Okay, this is our wire to go to the light. Okay, 
So now what we'll do is we'll get this reptile back over, over here. Now we'll have our power coming in over on this box here. I'll put this back up in here above our ceiling. This is the one we're going to have. This is the box that's going to be in our ceiling. So I'm going to go down and grab my uh, tool pouch and hook this up. Okay, so we have our tester here. We're going to just make sure these, uh, the circuit is off here. I'm going to check the white wire too in case you never know who hooked it up, if they hooked it up wrong and the uh, white could be live. So we have our uh, junction box ready to go. So we got our uh, threaded screw here for our ground screw. So we'll put our ground screw in the threaded hole here. Connector up here. Tighten this ring up on this one here. And I'll make sure the other ones are tight that we're going to use in here. Fix this one so that tightens up and the connector goes on straight. And this one we're not going to be using, so we'll just close the screws on this one. Okay, so we have our neutral from the power, our power which is live, and now we'll strip our other wires here. This is the one to the switch, so we'll cut this. I'm going to make this longer because I'm going to use that ground wire to ground the box. I only score it coming down to about the last inch or so because I don't want to nick the wires underneath. OK, 
Okay, so this is our uh, switch wire here. So we'll put put it in right here. Okay, so we'll take our uh, longer ground wire, we'll come around here, we'll get to this ground screw. Um, I got it all the way around the screw, the direction our screw turns. I'm just going to close the loop with my pliers here a little bit. look make sure our copper is under the screw head all the way around which it is okay now we'll take our black feed wire and we'll go to our white switch wire here so I'll open this wire nut here I'll clip I'll strip our wire a little bit further here and I'll strip our white wire here Okay, what I'll do is I'll get our insulation. See how I get the insulation even at the bottom here? Get the insulation's even at the bottom. I'll twist them so that they're even. Clip it so that they're even here. Okay, so our black feed wire is going to the white switch wire, and we'll put our wire nut on here. Okay, so we'll get this back into our box all of our way. So now we have a black and a white left, and that's going to be the black and white that goes to the light. So we'll get our wire here that goes up to our light fixture. Score it lightly coming down here. And I'll go deeper at the end here. Here. I'm going to clip our jacket back a bit further because I didn't get all of it. Okay, uh, get all our debris. 
three out of our box here. Okay, now we have all our wires into our box. Now we're going to get our ground wire from the power source. The ground wire that goes to the box and down to the switch. And it doesn't matter which one you use for the going to the box with. And we'll twist them all together here. And we'll put a wire nut on them. Flip it so it's even with the shortest one. We'll put our wires back down into our box there. Okay, now we can put our blacks together and our whites together that go to the uh, light. We'll get our insulation even at the bottom here. We'll twist them together so they're even. So I got an even twist here. I'll clip it so it's even with the shortest one. So I'll put our wire nut on. I'll make sure the insulation goes up into the uh, bottom of the wire nut. Okay, now we'll do our white wires that go to our light. Okay, so we got them twisted together here nice and even. We don't even have to cut them because it, it came out perfectly even. Our insulation is even at the bottom, our copper is even at the top. We'll put our wire nut on, we'll make sure our insulation is going up into the uh, bottom of our uh, wire cap here. Now I'll bring the camera up close so you can see how this is uh, wired here. Then we'll screw our box up here on the ceiling. Cover will put on it up here. Put our box up on the ceiling here.
travel here. It's going without any stress. Let me see if I have cover on here. Make sure I cover so this one with the layers. Okay, we're just going to finish it off here. We're going to put our cover plate on here. The wires are pinched anywhere. Turn the switch off. I'll turn my work light off. And I'll go flip the breakers on. I shut off a few of them because I don't know which one it was. Yeah, it must be the one in the cellar I shut off. Okay, I just came up from the cellar and it was the, the, I had some breakers off in the cellar because I wasn't sure which one it is. So here's what it looks like. Alrighty, so that is how to install uh, a drop ceiling uh, brand new LED light. This is like a recording studio here. These uh, lights are energy efficient, they're maintenance free, they are very nice to have, and they are very easy to install. But you always consult with a certified electrician before you do electrical wiring. Peace. Thanks for watching. I will show you the uh, tag on one of the lights.